Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of our TVE courses. This particular one is a computer related course that teaches you how to extract or rip a video file from a DVD to a computer. Basically, we're going to teach you how to take a file, that, like if you recorded it on a, a camcorder that made a DVD or if you have a personal DVD, how to get that file into the computer where you can edit it or where you can email it or just store it on your hard drive because you know now what's happening, most of the DVDs are being converted to files. You know, we went through a transition. First we had tapes like the VHS tape or the commercial uh, quality tapes. And then we, uh, those died out and because DVDs took over and now DVDs are dying out and everything's going to computer files on hard drives. And, th and that's gonna be the way we're gonna be storing video files for probably the foreseeable future. And so if you happen to have files of yours on a DVD, it's a good time to take it and put it into a computer file and store it there. And, or if you had family videos you wanna share, you can rip it off of a DVD and put it into a, a YouTube video and then you could share it with everybody you wanted to. But one thing I wanna point out, DVD ripping is not for taking the intellectual property that belongs to someone else and ripping it and then using it without their permission. So what I want to go over is a step-by-step -step methodology for ripping a file from a DVD. There's many kinds of ripping software and unfortunately if you go on the internet and try to rip, uh, get a DVD ripper that you can use, most of the time you'll end up installing something on your computer that you do not want. A lot of these uh, things that are put on our computers that cause us all kinds of issues and problems is when we go to download a freeware off of uh, the internet and then we end up with something we do not want on our computer that we then have to go get an antivirus program to get rid of or you know something and go through a lot of work with a computer that's having all kinds of issues because you were downloading something that was supposed to allow you to rip a DVD and it turns out what happened is you're just downloading something so they can actually look at your computer and put uh, you know malware on your computer or spyware on your computer and so what I'm giving you here is a step-by-step -step tutorial that is one method that can be used that I've tested that I've used for many years that I know is safe and practical for ripping DVDs videos and putting them onto my computer let's take a look at how that would work This is going to be a step-by-step -step program. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the steps and I'm going to go into details of, on the steps. First, I'm going to recommend, um, if we're going to do this process, that we get a application, a software that downloads from the internet called WinX Free DVD Ripping Software. There's many kinds of DVD ripping softwares. This is one I know that's not going to give you any trouble and you're not going to end up with a lot of malware or spyware on your computer when you try and download it. This is available from http www.winxdvd.com forward slash dvd dash ripper forward slash download htm. That's for a PC. You also have a Mac version which is www.winxdvd.com forward slash DVD dash ripper dash four Mac four dash Mac uh, forward slash download dot htm. Now, when you do that, we're going to follow these ten steps to get you situated where you can start ripping the files off your DVDs. When you go to this site, you'll click on uh, get the free download button. Then you'll save a save file window will appear and then the WinX DVD Ripper Installer program will be downloaded to your computer and then when you locate that program then you you operate it and then a welcome setup window will appear and then you click next and then a license agreement will appear and then you click accept and then next and then uh, you select a destination where you want to install, install the program and then you select the start you know the start menu or click next and then these are the simple steps, but let's go into details on that. And then I'm going to go into the details on how do you use it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our first page that we're going to see here. This would be 
the WinX free DVD ripping software. And you'll see on this page, we'll go to and click on this button here, the free download button. Okay, and when you do that, you click on the free download button, then it, you will see this window appear. And this is your opening WinX DVD ripper execute file. And then you will save that file. Okay, when you save that file, then you will have the file in your downloads. It'll either end up in your downloads folder or it will end up on your desktop, depending on how your computer is set up. When you get that file into your computer and you've downloaded it fully, you then click on this icon that's on your desktop or in your downloads folder. Then this window will appear and, and then you'll click next. Okay? And then you'll have this. This is the license agreement for WinX DVD Ripper. And so you would click on I accept the agreement and then the, you'll click on the next button. Then you'll want to select the destination where you want this program installed on your computer. And so what happens is you, uh, it will pick one for you most, most of the time and if you're happy with that you click next. If you want to put it in a specific location then you can click on the browse button and it will put it in the location you want to install it in. But most people just let it pick its own location and then click next. And then, then you would select the start menu folder. Where should the setup uh, place the program shortcut? And so it has a place in your computer that it pre-selects or you can browse and find another location. And then you click next. Okay. Now, once you, once you do that step, you come up with this window and it allows you, do you want, a desk, do you want to choose if you want a desktop icon and if you want a quick launch icon. If you check those, you'll get both those icons, one on your desktop and one that's a quick launch. If you're happy with those, then you click next. And then when you, you're, it, it tells you when you've got a ready to install window here and what it'll do is it'll tell you where it's installing it, uh, what it's installing in what menu folder, and then the additional icons if you're happy with all that. You can click install if you want to go back and modify. You can click back, but I'd recommend just going ahead with install there and getting that put on your system. Now, once it's installed on your system, then you will have this icon that will be either in your start menu in the programs or it might end up on the desktop. And the ripping process is five steps. You click on the WinX DVD ripper icon that's located on your desktop or in my programs. Then the WinX control panel will appear. Then you'll click on the disk button in the upper left hand corner of the window that appears. A disk and chapter selection window will appear. You select the chapters you want to rip to a file on your computer and then click on OK or Next, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC. Select the output file format you want by clicking on the appropriate tab and then click the Start button to extract or rip the DVD file to your computer. Now I know I went over this all real fast, but I'm going to go into detail on it. But these are just an overview of the five easy steps. So first we're going to have this icon, the one that says WinX DVD Ripper, that's going to be on our desktop or in our start menu on the program. When we pick that, click on that, then this window will appear. And this is your window we use to actually extract the file from the disk to our computer. The first thing you'll do is you'll click on this, this button here, and then another window will pop up and then you will choose which of the chapters on your DVD you want to extract. And so I would, you know, if you, and once you choose them or choose all of them or one of them or whatever, then you'll go next and you'll come back to this window. And you will then select a file format you want to make the file that's coming for you. Know, it's coming from the DVD as one kind of video file. 
this will allow you to make the kind of video file you want to use on your computer like an mp4 would be good if you wanted to mail it or mpeg if you wanted to go with an older style of a, of a file format for video or to WMB for Windows video or to FLV if you wanted to upload it or to MOV if you wanted to use it on a Mac computer or may, maybe you just want to download the audio part of the DVD and so you'd make it to music and then you can take it to an iPod to Apple TV to iPhone to HTC to Samsung or to PSP depending on what kind of file you want to rip uh, to so it'll create the file you need from the original file that's on the DVD. And when you click on these, it will actually do all these settings the way it needs to to have the best quality picture. But if you want to get a little bit more skilled, you can actually enter these, uh, these settings should you want to make it a little bit higher resolution or you want to change the dimensions of the, of the uh, screen. You know. And so there's a lot of things you can do here to actually enhance or correct the video. You can even increase the volume if the video on the DVD is too low. Once you do that, you hit the start button and it will begin to extract the file and it will put the file on the desktop of your computer. And once it's done, you can take that file and you can edit it or you can do whatever you need to. Well, I hope that helps you with the understanding of how to rip a DVD. I want to remind you, do not use the intellectual property that belongs to someone else without written permission. I appreciate you attending our class today. Thank you very much.